Hi guys and welcome to our latest project. We're here in Bushy, Hertfordshire and I'm really excited to show this one to you, Modern Masterpiece. But before we do, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments if there's anything else particular that you want to see. So we'll start where we always start with the island. So as you'll see, it's a really modern design and basically we have this overhang that's created by having a shallower unit inside set into the island. So we've got space for four breakfast stools here. So this is a lovely breakfast bar with this stone overhang, as I said, about three mil on two sides. Really, really lovely statement. The stone is a 20 mil quartz. It's this lovely white base with a grey veining. Looks a bit like marble, but really, really subtle. Behind me, usually it's the last thing we show you, but today it's the first thing we show you, is the double door pocket door larder. So really, really nice. Stone running through. We've got three drawers. Uh, these are Allegra box stainless steel sided drawers. We've got LED strip lighting on three sides. We've got your double thickness shelves and these are adjustable. And then you can see here that the client's got lovely space for their coffee machine, and their toaster. Um, and obviously this is stone, so it's a nice working area. So coming round, also actually I'm going to point out here, you can see we've basically put in this border. So it's an up and over detail. It follows all the way around the kitchen and it's in this sort of dark um, brushed stainless steel material. Um, and it's on the plinths as well. So it basically frames this whole kitchen. So coming along, we've got the main cooking area. So we've got the Siemens induction hob. It's an 800 wide induction hob. And then we've got the Western extractor. It's a cash slim that's integrated under here. And as usual, we've, we've built that out nicely with, a, with an access panel if it ever needs servicing. And then there's storage either side of the ducting in the center. Got some more wall units here. Again, this is in this lovely matte navy color. It's called indigo blue. And again, we've got the stainless steel running all the way over the top. And you can see here that it's set back. And in that recess, we've put some strip lighting. So it's got creating like a light well. The stone basically comes and carries on all the way up. So it's a full cladding here between the worktop and the underside of the wall units. And then the client's gone for a double socket. Below the hob, we've got a set of drawers. So these are again, stainless steel Legra box drawers. And then we've got this internal utensil drawer. So again, the client's got their spatulas and um, some big slotted spoons, etc. And then at low level, we've got a push to open drawer. That's more for pots and pans. And finally, finishing off this area in the navy, we've got just some more storage either side. Opposite me here is the wet area in the kitchen, and we've got the Kuka Pro 3 Flex, that's in stainless steel. Remember, we've got the pull-out spray feature, and then you've got normal hot and cold water, and then boiling on tap. This is a super deep sink, um, and we've got a waste disposal in there, and the waste disposal switch is on the worktop. Sometimes we put it underneath the sink unit, sometimes on the worktop, depending on whether they have young kids or not. And then coming into the main taller area of the kitchen, we've got side by side fridge and freezer. These are one by uh, freezer by Liebherr and the fridge is by Siemens. Uh, you've got a bit of storage above that. And then here we've got a corner unit. So rather than wasting this space, we've got a studio height Le Mans corner. So there are four trays that pull out anti-slip mats and you're really using all of that storage into the corner there. Next to this is more storage. Notice this internal color, this is lovely white wood. It's like a beige uh, wood grain texture uh, laminate, really, really nice. So this is fully shelved. Um, clients using actually as a baking cupboard mostly, which is really, really cool. And then coming around into the main cooking section. So we've got two Siemens uh, studio line ovens, single ovens, side by side. And we've gone for this same trim that is a uh, high level as the goalpost and the plinth level. We've basically created a border around the ovens, which matches this stainless steel, uh, which is almost like a graphite gray of the Siemens ovens itself, which is really nice. Above the ovens, we've got this double baking tray divider. So it's your vertical baking tray dividers. You can see the clients using it for chopping boards and, and serving trays, but it's rare that we get two side by side. So, so practical, especially if you've got lots of chopping boards or you like hosting and you have lots of dishes and stuff. And then below the ovens here, it's just extra storage, fully shelved below. The client's got some nice glassware and some Pyrex bowls, etc. And then finally, on the storage side in the tool run, we've got a double door, fully shelved unit fully adjustable and it's perfect for China as you can see it's nice and deep. On the back side of the island just to point out these units come all the way down to the floor and it's just some more fully shelved storage but these are full depth units. Now 
I'm gonna take you over to, this is the favorite part of this kitchen for me anyway. The client entertained a lot and wanted a drinks area to be able to host their friends. So what we've done is we've created a bar unit that matches the rest of the kitchen. So as you can see, it's the same navy color running through with the same uh, setback ceiling and fill de detail in the stainless steel. But what we've got is we've got the same matching stone running all the way through, but we'll get to that in a minute. This is a pull-out tray where you can actually lock it into place and use it as a mixing station. So you pull that lever and that goes away when it's not in use. We've got a double door wine fridge at low level. Either side of this is some storage, which is fully shelved. And then this is the wow feature, the wow moment. This is your bifolding door. And we've got the magnificent, magnificent drinks fridge. So, it is, again, lit on three sides. We've got double thickness shelving and an antique mirror, uh, antique bronze mirror back panel here with a double step shelf for all of the client's lovely spirits to display. So they've got quite a nice gin collection here. Personally, mine's a Hendrix with a slice of cucumber, but yeah, really, really cool and, um, and perfect in, it's a lovely summer afternoon today. The garden's literally just beyond me. So friends come over, mix them a drink and then straight out to the garden. That is it for today, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, let us know what you want to see next. Thanks.